just wanted to make a quick video of what goes on behind the scenes of my Christmas or holiday light show because I'm going to be using it for more than just Christmas. Um, so this is my first year doing it. Uh, current date of this filming is December the 30th of 2022. Uh, so I just want, kind of wanted to keep a log of how this is going to progress over the years. So this is the first first one. So let's get right into it. I've got four arches here. They're using WS2812B strips. There's 150 LEDs in each arch. So let's go down and take a look at what controls them. This is a 50 caliber ammo can. I have a, another video on the full build of these. So you can go check that out. So here we go. There's a dig quad. Uh, and uh, I think that's like a 12 volt power supply. Uh, no, excuse me, it's a five volt, 12 amp power supply. I have four outputs on this one. However, only two of them are being used at the moment. So the first output does the first two arches and then the second output does the last two arches. And the input is on either side. So we have input here and then we have input on the far end coming this way. And then in the software, I have this one flipped to 180 so it all blends together. Total 600 LEDs for the whole thing. They're five volt, like I said earlier. And then we have our waterproof connection there. So when it rains, it doesn't mess up. All right, next up we have our candy canes. We have four Boscoyo uh, Chroma Cane 99. So each candy cane has 99 LEDs. Um, these are WS2811 LEDs. Um, let's take a look at the back here. These are bullet pixels. They look like this. Uh, so the strand is, is 100 in the strand, so there's one left over. We just tuck it in the back there. Um, I have a ton of videos on these already, so you can go check those out as well. Um, we'll look, take a look at the controller. Here we go. So another dig quad. Um, this is a 12 volt power supply. I think it's 40 amps, 30 or 40 amps is not super important because I don't draw nearly that amount. But I have a 3D printed uh, tray to, for the quad to sit on so it's not touching the power supply. And then I'm using all four ports from the dig quad. Uh, and then you know, this one's Wi-Fi uh, as well as the other one for now. Next year will probably be Ethernet instead of Wi-Fi because I plan on expanding quite a bit and I think it'll be too much for the Wi-Fi to handle. So for now it's, Ether it's, it's Wi-Fi, but it won't be like that next year. Okay, that's that. And finally, let's take a look at the LEDs on the house. I don't know, you can hardly even see them, but this is the diffusion tray right there. Right there. So let's step back. All right, now that we're stepped back a little bit, um, LEDs run from here to the top, down, and then another run from here, all the way over uh, just underneath the gutter. And then the back section goes from here up to the peak and then down, and then there's another leg right there and I have a whole uh, build series on installing those so you can go check that out if you're want to know some of the details of that but this one's also running on a dig quad let's go take a look at it I have the wires all coming into the side of the house here into my garage okay let's see they're coming in right there and then here's my Final dig quad. 
The lights that I'm using are WS2812B, they're five volts. This one's also Wi-Fi. You can see the antenna here, five volt power supply. I think it's 40 or 50 amps, I can't remember. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it all in the description below so you can check out the stuff that I used for these. Um, but there's significant amount more LEDs on this quad than the other ones, so I changed these fuses out to 10 amps. Uh, this one remains a five amp fuse. This is what uh, Quinn LED um, suggests if you're running a lot of LEDs on your quad, is to bump these up. I haven't had any issues with that yet. Um, but that's kind of what my show looks like right now. I have two, so I have three total dig quads. Two of them are running five volt LEDs and one of them is running 12 volt LEDs. You have to keep them separate. You can't mix and match because five volt LEDs can't have 12 volt supply to them. Okay, so that pretty much does it for the lights. Uh, I've gone through everything that I've done so far. Uh, look forward to the next uh, coming year for more videos about the lights. We're gonna be doing a lot more. Uh, we're gonna add uh, hopefully a significant amount more over the next year for the next holiday season, uh, including a mega tree and then uh, several other random props here and there. If you got any questions, check out some of my other videos that might have some of the answers in it for you. I go into quite a bit more detail in the other videos about these props that I've already done and also the roof line. So go check out those videos. I'll leave the link in the description below. And uh, appreciate you watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.